Hello engineers, I'm back to my planetary missiles and this version is close to final. I usually try to use no mods in my missiles and make all blocks a pure vanilla, but uh, in these missiles I've used uh, Avesum Aerodynamics mod by DG. Just look at these uh, small rocket winglets. They not only look cool, uh, but they also produce a very high amount of lateral dampening. The plane itself also has aerodynamic wings, and this plane also has three wheels uh, for takeoffs using only backward thrust, like real planes do. Okay, now let's try to take off. If I turn on inertia dampeners, uh, my uh, plane can still hover, but now I turn them off for a kind of realistic takeoff. Let's roll! Don't forget to turn off wheel brakes. My speed is shown in kilometers per hour, cause uh, my plane has wheels. And takeoff speed is about 200 kilometers per hour. Looks not bad from cockpit. The higher is your speed, the more lift force is produced by uh, aerodynamics winglets. Four small aerodynamics uh, winglets on rockets uh, produce much more uh, lateral dampening than uh, lateral thrusters do, and uh, that makes uh, missiles very maneuver and precise. And this is especially helpful after last update, when developers removed dampening multiplier from uh, small grid thrusters. Ok, here is my pirate rover, armed with uh, three Gatling turrets and one rocket turret. And I am going to attack it. Ok, I've locked it from the second trial. Fire in the hole. Looks like my plane has too low speed and falling. So I turn on inertia dampeners. Because I'm going to look through missile frontal camera. And I don't want my plane to crash in that time. Don't pay attention uh, to that crosshair, it is from my plane cockpit, not from missile. Looks like we are able to dodge the turrets. And it was a good hit. My missiles carry no warheads, so there is only kinetic damage as always. Now I don't use uh, containers uh, loaded with iron ingots or other damaging elements because of game bugs. Uh, now game spawns no floating objects after a container is destroyed. But I hope it will be patched by developers. Ok, now I'll try to land my bomber using aerodynamics. There are no clean flat uh, places nearby, so I will try to use the same place I've uh, taken off from. Hope I will not crush my plane. The landing is a weird thing, uh, because uh, my bomber has no wing mechanization, uh, no flaps, no aerodynamic brakes, and it loses uh, velocity very slowly. Probably one could try to make uh, flaps or aerodynamic brakes uh, using uh, winglets placed on rotors. I'm trying to land my plane, but the speed is too high and uh, it jumps and I cannot use uh, wheel brakes to stop it. Oh, <laughs> a really bad idea to land the plane on a slope like that. Let's try to use wheel brakes again. And, well, I don't believe it, I I've landed the plane. Yes. But now it, it slips back down. Ok, screw the plane. I'll better save my ass. I think I'm now ready to publish this thing in workshop. I only hope developers will fix container bug in one of upcoming updates. And my small uh, kinetic rockets will have a decent damage like previously. Thanks for watching guys and till next time.